Part 1. Statistics. You will find this on page 261 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Statistics. Statistics is the collection, organizing, displaying, and interpreting of large quantities of information. Data is the word for pieces of information. You get two types of data. You get discrete data and you get continuous data. Now, what is the difference? Discrete data can take only certain values. Increase in jumps. The number of children in a class, the shoe size. So basically, you don't get halves or fractions. Continuous data from measuring can take any value. It's a smooth increase. It's no breaks. It's, for example, the height of a child. So they can be 1,2, 1,21, uh, the weight of people, 60,5, 60,6. So there is in between values, there is fractions. Now, tabulating data, organizing raw data using a table after it has been collected and sorted into categories. Now, let's start with the first one, the range. The range is the difference between the lowest and the highest value. For example, this is my values. Now, the lowest value is 3, and the highest value will be 9. So the range will be 9 minus 3, which will be equal to 6. Okay, so remember, let's just highlight it. The range is the difference between the lowest and the highest values. Okay, now let's look at an example. Example one. A die is rolled several times and the following scores were recorded. Okay, this is all this. This is the raw data. Just rolling it, writing down, rolling it, writing down. Now, draw a frequency table. Now, first find the range, the biggest number minus the smallest number. So what is the biggest? Six. What is the smallest? One. So the range is five. The table must go from one to six. Okay, this is the frequency table. Now write one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the number on the dice. The tally marks, I'll show you now how to do this. Okay, just the frequency. This is if I, I, I work out the calculation of the tally marks. So the total number of scores in each interval. But you must always do it like this. And I'm going to show you now. Um, I'm just going to show you how we do this daily marks. You, you start in the row. Now, you basically start with the number 3. Okay, I'm going to uh, make a circle around it. So if I make 3, then I'm just okay going to make one daily mark. Then I go to 6, and I go one daily mark. And then I go to 2, and I make 1 telemark. 5, 1 telemark. Uh, 4, 1 telemark. 2, another telemark. 6, another one. 3, another one. 4, another one. 1, another one. 2, another one. Five. I just want to see if I get that first five. Then three. Then one. Then three again. Okay, so I'm now at four red stripes. Can you see? Then one. Uh, then five. Then six. Then three. Okay, now as soon as you come to the fifth one, you make a stripe. Okay. Um, and then two, okay, let's just see, I'm here at two. Then one, then four, then six, then three, then five, then three again, then one, okay, now it's one, two, three, four, so for the fifth one, then three, Okay, and then two, okay, 
Let's try. And then six. Okay. And now you can count them. Now I know I will do the pre next one a little bit better. So if it's this one bundle, five, 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 six, seven, eight, three, four, and this one will be five. And this will be my total frequency. So if I add this, I will find exactly the same as this. Okay. So this will be 10. This is 18. Then plus 3, it's 21. Plus 4, it's going to be 25. Plus 5, it's 30. And if I look 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 3, it's also 30. So I can just control. Okay. I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do try now one, number one. As soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. It's always good to first do it on your own before you continue. Okay, so let's start. We are going to do try now. One. Okay, so construct a frequency table. Now, let's just construct our frequency table. Um, we're just going to use this. Um, I think what we can do, we can make it like this. And this is just the number. Okay, exactly more or less the same as that. Okay, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's find out the range first. Can you remember? So it's looking like one, three, four, five. So it looks like five minus one is four, but it's so. The numbers must be, okay, let's just do it like this. Okay. Um, so we actually could have moved this one still up. I was just going to see if I can move this one. Oh, this is big. Then I can clean this one, make it a little bit bigger, and then I can do this one. Okay. So let's just write. This is going to be the number. Just say the number. I just want to get my pen correct. So this is the number. Um, this is going to be my telemarks. And this is going to be my frequency. Okay, so what is my numbers? It's just one, two, Three, four, five. Now, let's start. Now, as soon as what I said is if you do, so start with the first one and then just go. So it's one. And then I'm just marking it so that I'm sure. You can also use your finger as you go along. Three, then four, then again two, then one, then one. Then again two, then again three, then again two, then again three, then again two. Okay, okay, now it's already one, two, three, can you see? Okay, so then again five, then again two. Then three, then again two, then again one, then again two, then again two, then again three, then again four, then again two, okay, one, two, okay, then again two. Then again five, then again two, a lot of twos, and then again three. Okay, so if I'm going to count, this is going to be four, 
This is 5, 10, and this is going to be 12. This is going to be 6. This is going to be 2, and this is going to be 2. And now, can you remember to control? So if this is 16, so it's going to be 22, 24, 26. And let's just see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 times 2, it's also 26. So I did not leave out 1.